Alright, so 5A polynomials in the real world, we just did a linear regression step out for resulting in this equation. Now they want you to put that computer away. They want you to know in the year 2000. I don't care. Okay. That's sketchy. But, uh, so we're going to guess in the year 2000 what it is. So we're going to do that by going second window. What number should I put in for the table start if it's in 2000? If it is right now. But what number should I put in? That's not the answer to my question. 100. Right? Because we did 1900 with 0, so 2000 would be 100. Second window to get there. And then I got a bunch of crap in here, but this is the number we want. 23.16. Okay? So you're going to have to make these predictions based on the equation you got. Did you not get that right? I got you got it. it? Okay, good. So 23.16 is the pounds of milk production. It's billions of pounds. Billions of pounds. <laughs> Probably for shipping, because then they know how much it weighs. Billions of pounds of milk. Okay. So that's what you're going to have to write down. All right, ready? Next one. So this, they talk about this point principle. I found it to be quite useless. The point principle, shh, shh, shh. It's quite useless, okay? So don't worry about that slide. Write this one down, though. Okay, get that chart down. We're going to use 1900 as your zero again. So for my L1, I'm going to use 10, 40, 70, etc. So when you get to your homework, really important that you pay attention to this. I would take a picture of this eventually here once you the lesson's over. But problem number 16, the predictions are in problem number 20. So do 16, then look at number 20 and make your predictions. Otherwise, you have to keep putting all these things into your calculator, and it's annoying. So 17 goes with 21, 18 goes with 22, 19 goes with 23. <coughs> So this is the amount of cheese consumption, okay? 30 pounds of cheese, so that's like your backpack full of cheese you eat every year. That's messed up. I love cheese too, but 30 pounds of cheese, that's a lot of freaking cheese. It's not like you're just eating cheese. Yeah, it's not like you grab your backpack and eat that whole block of cheese, right? You probably die. <laughs> Cheese. Yeah. 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 Okay, so let's add this in, set edit. <coughs> I'm going to clear this stuff out of y equals. So go up to plot one and turn it on. Right? Remember to turn it on and off the enter. So then we're going to enter in our data. So we're putting in 1040, 70, 75. to adjust our window because you have to be able to see the dots. Your, it's, uh, does everyone have this in? Anyone need more time? 
Okay, so you want to set your window to this? So we're doing x min of 110, y min of 0, or x min of 0, x max of 110, y min of 0, y max of 35. Then you can hit graph. If you turn your plots on, you can see the dots. If you don't see the dots, it means your plot is not on. You go hit y equals, go up to plot 1 and hit enter to turn plots on or off. So your graph should look like this. Alright. So does it, now we want you to use your common sense here. Does it look like a linear model would be your best regression? No. So let's try quadratic as the first one. So we're going to go stat over to calc. And we're doing quadratic regression. We're going to store the quadratic regression in Y1. Okay, so L1, L2, Y1. You guys really want to be doing this. If you're not, you're going to, it's only 30% of your test, this unit. So if you don't care about 30% of your test grade, continue to pop. Go ahead. Did, can you check your window? Is that good? Yes. How about, I know. Thank you. How about plot one, is that on? A mystery mine. And Okay, when you do a linear regression, we're going to have to get correlations. Correlations is how we determine which is the best one to choose. Okay, so if it's linear, you use lowercase r. Everything else, you use capital R squared. So we're going to get the correlation here. First thing you got to do is back to the home screen. And we're going to hit bars. Go to number five. Statistics over to equation. Capital R squared is nine. So VARS, number 5, over 2 to equation, number 9. So if you don't remember those steps, you're going to have to write those down. And this is the correlation we're looking at, and we're going to see if we can get better correlation than this. It's really good, but it's going to be better. That's strong positive correlation. So let's round to, if we round to thousands, what is it? become if we run to this place right here. 0 0.970, right? <clears throat> so cor uh, let's write the equation down first. So we're going to write this down. We're going to go to thousands here, so 0 0.006 x squared. So that's for our quadratic. So 0 0.006x squared minus 0.417x. And then plus 8.658. And then our correlation for that, the capital R squared with 0 0.970 rounded to thousands. So these are the things you're going to have to write down on a test or on a quiz. We're going to do a quadratic and then we're going to do a cortic because that's the one that works the best. So next thing we're going to go cortic. Ready? At least one person is. So we're going to go stat over to count. Core take is number seven. And we're going to store this one in Y2. Okay, and then we're going to write this thing down. So, oh my gosh, you have to write. 
right. So if you use a negative six as like scientific notation, that means we move this decimal six places to the left. So the x to the fourth rounds to what? We move this decimal six to the left. That means we have point five zeros in the rest of this. So it rounds to zero. So we're just going to say zero x to the fourth for the core tick. <coughs> And then write the rest of this down to minus. This is still zero x to the third. And then minus 0.046. And then plus 1.3. 303, yep, 1.03 x squared minus 4.9 or 4.972. Uh, yeah, that one squared, sorry, I screwed that up. This one's x, and that's just number. Okay. Now we're going to do the capital R squared to prove that we have better correlation there. So we do that by hidden bars, 5 over 2 equation, number 9. So, right, so point, it's really one rounded, it's one. And then if you look at the graph, you can see how well that cortic works as compared to the quadratic. Creeping along. Okay, so it hits all the dots pretty much perfectly, right? So when you get to your homework on this, for 16, I don't want you guys to go through and do all four of them, but I'm going to make you try at least two of them. So on 16, try a linear and a cubic. Get the correlations, whichever one's best, make your prediction on 20. So prediction is the bottom numbers, equations is the top number. Okay, so I would snap a photo of this so you can know what to do, otherwise your homework will take a lot longer and that'll be annoying. <laughs> You're going to get a certain work time, smart one. Right now.